Grade 8 math number 1.1a, write rational numbers as decimals. Now, this is the first video for grade 8 math. If you watch this entire playlist, you'll have the entire 8th grade math course. A rational number is a number that can be written as a ratio. It can be written as a fraction, like a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not a zero. The denominator is not a zero. So do you remember what an integer is? They're whole numbers and they're opposites across zero. So negative six and positive six are both integers and they are the opposites across zero on a number line, okay? A terminating decimal is a decimal number that ends or terminates. 0.25 ends, that's it. Five is the last digit for that decimal. A repeating decimal is a decimal that has one or more digits that repeats infinitely. One third is 0.33333, and that three just keeps on going into infinity. So we stop after a couple digits and put a bar over the top to let us know that it's going to repeat. So every rational number can be written as a terminating decimal or repeating decimal. And remember, every fraction is a little division problem. A proper fraction like 3 fourths means 3 divided by 4. And an improper fraction like 6 over 2 means 6 divided by 2. We know that one equals 3, doesn't it? Well, sometimes they divide evenly and sometimes they don't. And when they don't divide evenly, we keep trying until the digits start to repeat themselves. So for 1 fourth, what we do is we say 1 divided by 4. 1 divided by 4. And we have to add a decimal point and some zeros to help us because 4 can't go into 1 by itself, can it? We add the decimal point and some zeros, and 4 can go into 10 two times. 4 times 2 is 8, we subtract the 8 from that 10, we get 2 left over, and we drop this 0, 4 goes into 20 5 times, it goes over the 0 that we dropped, and 20 take away 20 is 0, we got a 0, so we know we're finished. So 1 fourth is equal to 0.25. See? Now for 1 third, we say 1 divided by 3. We look at that bar right here as divided by 1 divided by 4, 1 divided by 3. We have to add a decimal point and some zeros to help us. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. We do our subtraction and get 1 left over. Now it's that zero's turn to drop down. And 3 goes into this 10 3 times, and we put it over the zero we drop down. We get 9 again, and we have to subtract and get a 1, and we drop this one down, and it's just going to keep being a 3. We're going to keep getting a 9 and a 1 and a 9 and a 1, so that's going to keep being a 3, see? So we write the repeating decimal with a bar over the digits that are repeating, 0.33. Now sometimes only a few at the end repeat, not the entire decimal. For this one, 0 0.08, the 5 goes on infinitely, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and it just continues. So what we can do is just put a bar over the last couple of them, and not write those other ones, see? Just put a bar over the top. For this one, 0 0.02342342342, we don't have to write all these. We can get rid of these and just put a bar over the top of the 234, see? Sorry, my bar is not straight, but we would make a straight bar, see? So the whole decimal isn't repeating, just part of it. So we don't put anything over the 8 or the 0 or that 0. We just put it over the part that's repeating, see? All right, so that's how to write rational numbers as decimals. And we're going to take decimals and write them as rational numbers in the next video. Okay? I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next video. Bye.